Welcome back everyone to another episode of Civil Textures. My name is Ferdi and in this tutorial I'm going to show you everything you need to know about viewports. Now, what are viewports? Viewports are basically an object that you place in uh, the paper space so you can be able to view model space. You can scale them, rotate them, uh, zoom in, zoom out and do some few extra stuff in it sometimes it's not required sometimes it is for example changing colors for example model space won't show one color paper space can show another color so in this tutorial we're gonna cover a few stuff and the basic stuff that you need to know to get started without further ado let's begin the simplest way is to go to your layout tab and then layout viewports drop down here select rectangular now, what we'll ask you is to specify the two points at the top and right corner of the rectangular. So let's say we want it from here all the way to here and it creates the viewport. Now, what show, what happens is it creates basically a window that shows you in the model space. The reason it showed this is because the viewports by default, what they will do is when you create a rectangular one, it will zoom extend your model space. So let's say we're here. And if we double click zoom ex to zoom extend, then this is the extent of my drawing and therefore the extent of the what is going to be shown in the viewport. That is one way. The other way to do it is by you already drew a polyline, a closed one specifically, and you want to turn this one into a viewport. To do that, we go to layout and then you go drop down and then you select the object and then we select the object and there we go the other way is to actually draw the polyline by and then creates automatically the viewport to do that we just go drop down and then polygonal and then if i draw the polyline and then right click close it draws the viewport now what is the difference you say between the polygonal and the rectangular well first of all the rectangular is rectangular it cannot be any other shape but the main difference for me is this so let's draw a rectangular one so we've got a rectangular one and the polygonal the rectangular one when we select the grips and move them you can see it moves them uniformly but let's say if we drew a rectangular polyline and we turn that one into a viewport if I do the same thing, you can see it doesn't work the same way. So I prefer rectangular over polygonal viewports. However, polygonal viewports are in my arsenal to use whenever I need them. One case you might need a polygonal viewport is, for example, we have a drawing and then we have some notes that we want to add. So let's say we have some notes here. Now, this is like, hey, I don't like it. So we need to change our viewport so we can not show these topographical surveys behind our notes. To do that, you go to layout, drop down, polygonal, and then we draw the viewport that we actually want to show and right click close and if we delete the rectangular viewport you can see this is how we created the other way to create a viewport is by typing viewport hitting enter and the viewport window will appear now personally i never use any of the settings i just hit ok and it takes me back to the rectangular mode basically so basically this is a shortcut command and this window basically is very smart you can save model viewports and then you can select them from the name viewports here and then bring them into your paper space but we'll do a tutorial on this later but if we hit ok for now and click and click again it creates a rectangular viewport as you can see here and the last way they can create a viewport is by clicking insert view in the layout tab so if we click insert view it will take us to model space and it will prompt us to select the first corner of the viewport so if i select let's say here and i want to show only this unit and then i left click again and then i hit enter we go back to paper space and we can specify where we want the viewport i want the viewport here so this one is useful when you're not creating side plans but we're creating viewports for something specific so therefore you can do it this way that's the easier way to do it we select our viewport in our case is rectangular one and you can see a few items appear so you've got the vertex which are the grips to modify the extents of your viewport so basically you resize the window that you look into the model space and we have a middle vertex which is your move grip so basically use that to move your uh, viewport around and next to it you have a drop down arrow for the scales these scales are predefined 
uh, by the software standard usually or you can define your own ones so now if i change this one into 1 to 500 what will happen is it will not uh, zoom in into that viewport what will happen it will make the viewport bigger so it can keep its extent and so you can scale it to 1 to 500 so if we change to 1 to 500 you can see the extents remain the same so basically the same distance from this corner of the building to there remain the same and if we go to 1 to 100 this remain the same it just makes the viewport bigger or in other way it rescales your viewport to match that scale the other way to rescale your viewport is by going double clicking in it and then going to the drop down arrow and switching between them so basically you can see in this case it doesn't extend it it doesn't resize your viewport it just zooms in zooms out to that specific scale that you wanted so if you want to add a new scale go to the drop down arrow and go custom and then add and let's add a weird one one in 300 and then 1000 and then 300 and if we hit ok and ok again drop down there is the one in 300 now if i double click outside and go to the drop down and go to one in 100 that's what it's gonna be and then one in 300 that's what's gonna be the other way to do it which is not my favorite because probably i don't fully understand it is when you double click on your report to activate the model space you can type zoom and then s for scale and then let's say 4xp and that will zoom in four times which i think is 500 there is a website that you can i'll leave in the link description below so you can see how you can scale using the zoom command to be honest my preferred way is to set up my scales and just change them according how i want now let's say this is too zoomed out so we're gonna but we want to keep these extents so as i showed you you can double click here and then go one to 500 or 250 I, th I think 500 yeah 500 is perfect so one in 500 that's perfect now let's say i do not need this area so i want to kind of clip it so i'm gonna start drawing the polyline that i want the boundary basically it needs to be a close polyline and let's say i want here and then from there go down because i want to leave the space for the key and then let's right click close what i will do is clip my viewport to do that i'll go to the layout and clip select my viewport which is this and then select the object which is the polygonal and then that's clipped now you can access that command by typing bp clip as well and it will ask you the viewport to clip and then where you want to do it so we have this viewport you can see it was already clipped so it changed it to polygonal and ask us hey do you want to draw another polygonal or you want to delete it i want to delete it a reverse back to rectangular so that's one way to do it now if we double click and hold the middle button we can pan and then if we scroll up and down it zooms in so let's go back to one in 500 and let's say we want to keep that one fixed to do that we're just gonna hit the lock icon which is basically viewport lock if you cannot see the lock then what you would have to do is go to the three lines here customization and make sure the viewport scaled uh, the viewport lock is enabled so now you know how to resize your viewport, rescale it, add a scale to it, and clip it. So these are the main functions you need. Now let's say let's you don't want to see something in a viewport, you want to hide it. So let's resize our viewport, uh, the extents of it. Let's say uh, let's do something weird. Let's see. Let's I want to do this one. Let's move it up there, and then I want to copy this one down there, and then I'll select my viewport. I don't want to resize the extents, so I just unlock it change it to 200 and double click inside and then pan around now let's make it even smaller so let's say one actually sorry one in 500 there we go here we have the colors that we're showing in the actual model space but what if we want to change the colors let's say we want everything to be gray out from the from the side plan so we can make the drainage stand out more one way to do it is double click in your viewport go to your layer properties manager and then because i know the side plan is in an xref i'm gonna select it and then change everything into a gray color but it changed this as well well the way you should have done it is let's undo and then go to layer properties manager in the tab vp color you should have changed it to gray and in this viewport it will remain gray and if you double click in this viewport you can see the vp color is red we can change it to yellow if you want so depending on your needs you can have different viewports showing different stuff or for example in this viewport you want to hide the hatch double click inside use the freeze button select the hatch and freeze it and then escape 
and double click outside you can see the hatch is still shown here but it's frozen here if you double click on your viewport and you go to layer property manager you can see you have viewport freeze and the actual freeze if you freeze it from the actual the freeze it will freeze it on both drawings but if you want to freeze it only from the let's say the viewport you have to select first of all let's access the mall space unfreeze it and then let's say freeze it only from this viewport and you can see it froze it only from this viewport so that's a note you need to know you need to make sure the viewport is activated to do that you just double click inside the viewport and if you want to deactivate it just double click outside and that's pretty much it all you need to know about viewports to get you up and running i hope you find this tutorial useful and whatever you learned in this video maybe you can take it to your day-to-day -day job and apply it now if you would like to see more content hit the subscribe button as for 2022 we're gonna be uploading way way more content 